Hello YouTube fans, in a game. And I figure why not, why not, talk about this one. Tacit horror film from 1985, made a few sequels, and you could say the spin-off of Demnins. It's an unestimated horror film. Not a lot of people talk about it. That being Doolies, the 346 going to the toilet. I'll have a Vindaloo. Do this. This is one that not a lot of people talk about now, but it was a popular one in the mid, late 80s to the early 90s. And then it sort of went away in the late 90s. That being Doolis. They're going to go with it. Fuck it. So in 1985, there was a lot of Doolis come out. I was about to say, there was a lot of these Demden sort of spin offs. Think about it. You've had Cheapest. You had the day in 1986. You had Titus. You had all these spin offs of the tacit film Demnins. This being one of them in 85. That being Doolis. I remember once talking about V, the final battle, about the famous scene where a woman's giving birth to a lizard, the reptile, whatever, or a baby alien. I remember showing a picture cover of this. Sad to say. Can't find that video cover taken from a DVD rip. It should be somewhere around. I'll find it. But I remember sewing the cover. If I have it one day, I'll sew it. I'll sew it again. And it's a tacit, iconic photo of the film Duelist, where you've got a dueler, famous one, a demon with a weird steam face sticking out of the toilet. And I think they used it in the original tacit 1987 trailer of the second one, being Duelist 2. Where it says just before it worked, thought it was safe to go to the toilet. And you've got a doolie sticking out the bog. And in the iconic photo, you've got a doolie, the demon I just mentioned, sticking out of the toilet. Tacit photo, very 80s. And this, like I say, it was a spin off of Demnins. So fuck it, let's go on with the film. So you've got this guy, you've got the ideas of Devil Word, Peter, he's rich, dark, black, matte. The devil worshipped her and all this. He's got this woman begging for her life, who's the mother late to be. They want to sacrifice this baby. This guy who's on the dark side turns to the dud side, takes the baby and fucks off. The bit where he's going to do powers and it electrocutes his hand and he gets pissed. So they get the woman. You get the idea that Judy comes out of a chest. You don't sow too much to the time to keep it a mild rating. But then you've got the word do this. You've got the idea it's a double days late or oh, the baby now is thrown up. You get a monologue of a dad that saved the kid who was on the dark side just as he was sacrificing a baby. So now he's on the dud side, he's fostered this kid, he's now a drawing man and all this, right? He's got a wife, he finds a book, he's into rich stuff, devil worshipping, all that shit. And there's a bit of his acting weird all the way through the fucking film and he says, fuck it, he fights his mates over. Now this, on a lot of YouTube channels, has had mixed reviews. Some people like it, some people say it's a total tacit, some people say it's a piece of shit. I love Van both for life, I love OC communications, they both rant on it to me. I think do this too is a lot more superior. If ever do a do this too with you, you see why. But this, I can see why some people diff it, some people take it, some people say it's shit. I can see why. I can see why, because this to me, this to me is two films in one. It's two films in one. It's the do list meets a devil word between which to whatever. And it is. There's barely any do this in it. The story gets a bit boring, it drags a bit in certain areas, but when it gets going, it gets going. So I can see why it's a mixed bag. I can see why it's a mixed bag. So like I say, the guy is acting weird all the way through it. He fights his mates round, do a devil word between the rich staff. Big mistake. He never lets his father, he was the, the main villain, the one I just said, devil word to sacrifice this woman, wants to sacrifice the baby, what was him. And he comes back to life. And he brings back the do list. You've got the Dean one, much fire eyes on it. You remember the tacit photo, like I said, a dude coming out the toilet. That's the one. It looks like a bit like the baby reptile in V, the final buckle 
that's the one. You've got this one with fur on its face. You've got another one looks like a bat. You've got all these different teachers. I mean, practical effects. How I miss them golden errors. How I miss the golden errors of practical effects. So he resurrects them anyway. And you've got one, they're like these Dean slimy things, like one of the says comes out of the toilet. And there's these people smoking a bit of weed, eyes are tight, the Dean Doblins, the doolies come out and attack on it's at this man this do. The one I do like, there's a towel, like a a, a doll. And it comes alive, it's attacking this woman, it's punching her out, and it comes alive and it rips its face off, you see a doula. I just wish it was more like the Chester Town, because I felt that would have been a lot more cheaper. But it's that a cheaper sheet, it comes out. And then you've got this one die, falls this dirt, this woman, I should say, that attractive, that pretty, is snogging and touching her up. And she looks at him like this. Then the dong shoots out and Dangles him. Now, I do remember on the video ones where it was cut down a bit. Nowadays, you see it in its trap where it's choking him out, he's got blood coming from his neck, and it turns into the die, the, the main villain. But I do like the scene, I remember it feeling nice on it, it's like that. And then the song goes off, and it shoots out and strangles him. Good, good effect. He gets choked to death by whatever the die. Then you got the woman of the die, the, the main character. She gets killed. The dude is going to attack her. She falls down. I'm assuming now. I can't remember where it went. She fell and as to say, she broke her fucking neck. Right? She broke her neck. So you got the main character. He's trying to sacrifice his son. Fucking hell, so long for far for the love. The main character, the one that saved him as a baby, comes out. The dude is trying to attack him and so on. The kind of Use power, electric comes out everywhere. He drags the main villain and he drags him to hell. That's how I look at it. He drags him to hell. But this is a bit where I say it's an ultimate mind fuck. It's an ultimate mind fuck because all his mates come back to life. The dudes what attack the die and do the demons, they come back. He's doing a thing with broken neck, she comes back. The woman got choked to death, he comes back. Out. I don't fucking know. But they come back. They're all alive. It's all alive. It's all kicking. It's like a nightmare scene, right? They get out of Dodds. And they get in a car. And diving off. You think it'll be an happy ending. You see a dude sneaking at all. Typical sequel bait ending. Like I say, in 87, they made a sequel. And it ends like that. So it's like the ultimate mind fault. Is it a happy ending? Do they all get killed at the end? Is it your typical... Sequel bait ending. I don't know. I don't know. Because the ending's fucked up. Now the film, like I say, it come out in 85, 1985. But then I've seen the ending cycles. It says 1983. Then some people say it come out in 1984. So it's also my fault. I say 85 and the film did get police. So there's a lot of polices of the film do list. And like I say, it was a typical rip-off of Gemlins. But I just wish... I fucking wish there was more doulas in it. That's my only rant. It's not a rant. I like the film. I remember watching it when I was at an early age. I remember watching it twice. But it's one of them, it's not aged well. But I still can watch it as a time based off. I just wish, wish there was more doulas in it. I wish there was attacking more. I wish they didn't chicken out on the ending where they're all alive and they all come back to life. That's why I would say do this too was a lot more better because it didn't all batten the blood, it didn't all batten the door. People got killed, that was it, you're dead, get over it. Do this one sort of chickened out at the end. But I know, I know the dad took the way into a 15 and I wish it was a bit more 18, I wish it had a bit more blood, more door to the bone because the funny thing is the, the diet that we're doing is do this. Late 80s, early 90s, did another film. Wanna know what that is? Wanna know what that is? Puppet Master. Does anyone ever remember the film Puppet Master? With them little puppets and they come alive and they're killing people. Well, surprising, the director what did this, did the original, I'm not sure he did the second one, but did Puppet Master, which definitely was balls to the wall. It had blood, it had door, didn't fuck around on the pussy, peasy, friendly shit. 
it definitely was a fighting and bloodthirsty film. And it's funny because it's the same director which did Puppet Master did this film being Doolis. But I don't mind Doolis, I don't mind what it is. Yeah, it's a Demon's rip-off, but I just wish you saw more Doolis in it. That's why I'm saying that Doolis 2 made up for that because you got there, there was more the main character. It wasn't a typical father and son trying to kill one another. It wasn't witchcraft or devil rape in it. got to the point. But that's Do This for 1985, the original, the tacit one. And then today I'll talk about Do This 2, which I think is a lot better. But in general, be smart, be safe. See you later.